Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today I thought I'd do something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but I can only do it now because I've finally experienced it so I can actually talk about it. And that's the Walt Disney World tag. So yeah, it's just a bunch of questions, loads of people have done it on YouTube, and I'm going to go through them and answer them for you, so let's do this. Question number one. First time you went to Walt Disney World? Well, I've only been to Walt Disney World once and it was in June of 2015, so only about two months ago. That wasn't my first time in a Disney park. I'd been to Disneyland Paris loads of times before, but it was my first time in Disney World. Question number two is, what is your favorite park in Disney World? And my favorite park is without a doubt Magic Kingdom. I find it very weird that some people don't have Magic Kingdom as their favorite park because Magic Kingdom is what Disney's all about at the end of the day. I mean, all the parks in Disney World are amazing, but but when it, when it comes to just picking one, it has to be Magic Kingdom. The castle, Main Street, ah, oh, just everything about it is just uh, magical. But um, yeah, I also love Hollywood Studios, that was probably my second favourite park. But Magic Kingdom is my favourite. Question number three, favourite land in Magic Kingdom? Now, that's quite easy as well. Fantasyland has always been my favourite since I was a child going to Disneyland Paris. I always just loved Fantasyland, that was like... That was like what meant Disney to me. For me, when I thought of Disneyland, Paris, and now Disney World, I just thought of Fantasyland because, you know, all, it's just so cute. All the pink and all the colourful stuff and the carousel, and it's just, it's just the most magical land, I think. Um, even though it doesn't necessarily have all my favourite rides in it, although I love It's a Small World, I just think it's, it's just, if I had to spend a whole day in one part of Disneyland, Paris, or Disney World, Magic Kingdom, I'd choose Fantasyland. But I also love Main Street, I don't know if that counts as a land or not, but if it does, that would probably be my favourite place of all time. Like, Main Street USA is my favourite part of Disney. So I don't know if that counts as a land, but if it does, then that would be my number one choice. If it doesn't, then Fantasyland. Question number four. Favourite Disney Resort Hotel? I've only been to Disney World once, so I've only stayed at one of the resort hotels uh, and that was the uh, Port Orleans Riverside Hotel, which I really liked, it was good. Um, it's one of the moderate ones, I believe, and it was it was good, it was really nice. I liked the theming, it was quite subtle, actually. Um, uh, so I can't really answer that, so I'm just going to say that I enjoyed the one I stayed at. I'd really like to stay at, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, the Grand Floridian, I'd love to stay there. I visited it when I was there for like a breakfast, a character breakfast meal thing. And it's just amazing, it looks awesome. So I'd love to stay there or the, or the Animal Kingdom Lodge because like people like, apparently like you get, um, I don't know, animals like uh, giraffes and zebras just like into your restaurant whilst you're dining or something. That's what I've heard. So I'd like to visit that or stay there. Um, or the Polynesian looks cool as well. I mean, all of them, even like the kind of lower ones, like what's it called, like the All Star one and stuff, All Stars. I don't know, something like that, the contemporary, that's not it, I don't know, just some of the, all of them basically from what I've, I've looked at online look great, so I don't think I'd mind where I stay next time I go. As long as it's in Disney and it's made by Disney, I know that I'm in a really cool place with uh, great theming and everything. Question number five is favourite snack? Uh, I don't know, I don't really know. Um, I want to say the turkey leg because <laughs> I don't even know if you, can, if you can count that as a snack, apparently it's a snack, but the turkey legs that you can get in Magic Kingdom and I, I think in some of the other parks as well were just amazing. I tried one on one of my last days in Disney and I couldn't even finish it. It was so good but I just could not finish it because it was so big. So I really like that. I also like the pretzels, the Mickey shaped pretzels. Uh, I had one in Epcot once and it was so good. Um, I think I would have enjoyed it more if it wasn't so hot because the pretzels are quite warm and you get like this nice melted cheese with it as well. Oh, it was so good. But yeah, everything, all the snacks I had there. I'm trying to remember what else I had. Cupcakes, I had some cupcakes uh, in Hollywood Studios, like some... Uh, Star Wars themed cupcakes as well as some Frozen themed cupcakes, they were all really really nice. But yeah, I think I'd go, I'd go for the, the pretzel one. The pretzel was just really really good and I really really want them to like do it in Disneyland Paris as well. I don't think if they do or not, I've never seen them in Disneyland Paris, but I think in Disneyland Paris it would be even more nice because the weather's a bit cooler so like you will enjoy it more and it was just so tasty. Question number six says, favourite souvenir? That's very difficult because if you watch my Disney World haul, which I'll link down below, I bought a lot of things <laughs> from Disney World when I went. So I can't really pick a favourite, but if I had to, I'd probably say my Mickey Woody ears. So it was like a hat that looked like, a, you know, Woody's hat kind of thing. Not really like Woody's, basically it's like in the colours of Woody's outfit, but it was Mickey ears. I just really liked it. So yeah, I'll a picture of it right now. Question number seven. Favourite table service and favourite counter service? 
Um, we ate in quite a lot of restaurants actually, like sit down restaurants uh, for, for for our first time there. We were there for two weeks. Um, I don't know what my favourite was. Like we did quite a lot of buffet restaurants, but also um, we did be our guests, which I really really liked the food in be our guests. The food was amazing. I had the onion soup, French onion soup, uh, as like my starter, and then I had some steak and chips for like my meal, and, I, and then I had the grey stuff as dessert, and it was everything in it was just all the food that I had there was amazing subline but I just didn't like the atmosphere as much as I thought I would and it's because for some reason we only could get like a 9 p.m. reservation so maybe it was because it was a late one but we didn't have anyone around us we only had just like this one table and some people would like that don't, don't get me wrong like some people would prefer that but it was just our table and it just didn't feel as exciting as I wanted it to be because there wasn't anyone around us kind of thing um, so it's, I want to say that's my favorite restaurant but I really liked the food there really really did but I also liked them um, the Crystal Palace meal that I had with the with Winnie the Pooh and his friends uh, that was like our last meal me and my friend Rebecca's last meal in Magic Kingdom on our last day and that was so good the buffet was great and I just love character meals so yeah one of those favorite counter service would have to be um, the Pinocchio house in Magic Kingdom most of the places most of the counter places do a similar kind of food when you think about it unless you're in Epcot and you go to different like pavilions um, they're all kind of they all kind of do burgers and pizzas and chicken nuggets and stuff so I, honestly I was sick of eating any any of those foods by the end of my holiday I didn't want to see another chip or another fried burger or anything like that but the Pinocchio house just as a place was awesome so the food it was just like any of the other ones. I don't care too much about it. It was just like chicken nuggets and chips that I had. I did some pizza as well, but I'm not a big fan of pizza. But I just love the fact that it's so close to It's a Small World and you can actually see people get on It's a Small World whilst you're dining there and it's just so cool. It's very big. I just love the theming in it. So yeah, that's my favorite counter service restaurant. Question number eight is favorite ride. Uh, that's a difficult one. Uh, my favorite ride has always been um, Thunder Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, when I used to go to Disneyland Paris, like growing up. Uh, and I, I did enjoy uh, Thunder Mountain in Walt Disney World as well, but it wasn't as good as the one in Paris, sorry. Um, so I don't think that would be my favourite ride in Disney World. Um, I liked... Well, what, what did I like? I really liked Phantom Manor, not Phantom Manor, the Haunted Mansion <laughs> in Magic Kingdom, because it's quite different to the one in Paris, which is called Phantom Manor. I loved Rock and Roller. I think I preferred Rock and Roller Coaster in uh, Disney World to the one in Paris. But if I was to choose a ride that is not present in Disneyland Paris, I'd definitely go for Soarin', which is a ride in Epcot. Some people wouldn't even call it a ride because it doesn't really do much, but basically it makes you feel like you're flying over loads of places in the world and it's just the coolest thing i did not expect to love it as much as i did it, it was just so cool you just sit on this thing and your your legs are like dangling and it just goes high up a bit and it's like you see this like there's a massive screen in front of you and it literally feels like everything's real and you're literally flying and there's wind in your air and your face and oh i really really enjoy that one um unfortunately i only got to go on it once but i loved it also toy story mania that was another ride I only got to go on once, unfortunately, because it's very, very popular and we had a fast pass book, but we couldn't get another one for the next day. But, but it was so good. My one experience on Toy Story Mania, I absolutely loved because I'm not very good at the Buzz Lightyear one, which they have in Disneyland Paris as well. I'm terrible, in fact. I can't shoot well for some reason. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. But I was quite good at Toy Story Mania. And I, again, because Toy Story is my favourite film, Disney film of all time, um, I just loved it. I loved seeing all the characters in there and like all the games, the games are different. I just thought it was really, really cool. So those two rides, I think, were my favorite from Disney World. Question number nine says, favorite show. That's another very difficult one because there were so many shows. Like that's one thing that I definitely prefer about Disney World, Disneyland Paris, because Disneyland Paris has some shows, but not quite as many as Disney World. Disney World has so many cool shows that I just love. They were actually probably my highlight of my trip, seeing those shows and meeting characters. But, um. I don't know, my favourite show I'd say is it's either the Finding Nemo musical, which is in Animal Kingdom. I love that musical. That show is about half an hour long, so it honestly feels kind of like a whole musical. And it's um, apparently it's written by uh, the same guys as did Avenue Q and Frozen, who I'm a big fan of. Um, not Frozen, I'm a fan of the composers, Bobby Lopez and stuff. But um, I didn't even realise that until afterwards, but the musical is just so so amazing i think that should be your number one thing to do if you go to animal kingdom i loved it so much unfortunately i only got to see it once but i loved it it was just there was so much talent on stage and 
the music was was great it wasn't amazing the songs but i really enjoyed them it, it was just so cool and clever to see some music put into like a disney film a pixar film that i really like and the puppetry was great i just loved it but i still think as much as i loved finding nemo the musical my number one favorite show in disney world would have to be phantasmic phantasmic was just in, I loved it. I can't even put into words how much I loved it. Um, I'd heard about it. I'd seen clips of it on YouTube before I went, and I kind of knew I was going to like it because I was just—it just looks so awesome, and I was so excited, so much looking, so looking forward to seeing it. And when I finally saw it, I was just like, "Wow, I love it! It's just so cool. I just love sitting down there in Hollywood Studios and like." the water in front of you when then Mickey comes, you know, the Mickey in my favourite outfit, in his Fantasia outfit, and then he does all these tricks and the music is amazing, the soundtrack, and then all the characters come and on the boats and then you get all the princesses and oh, it's so good and Pin um, not Pinocchio, Pocahontas is even featured in there kind of, quite a bit actually, which I love because Pocahontas doesn't normally get featured in anything unfortunately, so it's so cool to see that sequence in Fantasmic and all the colours and Oh my god, I just really love it. The music as well is so good. I made my friends watch it for the second time. I, I couldn't just deal with watching it once, so on our second day in Hollywood Studios, I was like, can we please just wait and see it again? And they were like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely my favourite show, I think. I love Fantasmic. Question number 10. Favourite parade or fireworks? Well, my favourite parade is, without a doubt, the Main Street Electrical Parade. Um, I have really fun memories of seeing that, seeing that parade in Disneyland Paris when I was young, when I was like six or seven. It was our favourite thing to do in Disneyland Paris. It was just a great thing. And it was so nice to be able to see it again. It's changed quite a bit since the early days when I used to watch it in Disneyland Paris. Unfortunately, you can't see it in Disneyland Paris anymore. It's no longer there. But it was just so good to see it again, even though it was a bit different. I just love the music to it. Like, I can understand some people might find it annoying. Those people who find it annoying are the same people who find It's a Small World annoying. I love both. I love It's a Small World and I love the music for the Electrical Parade. It just brings my, it brings back loads of memories. It takes me back to my childhood. The music I can listen to over and over again. And I just love all the lights. So that's by far my favourite parade. And my favourite fireworks show is Wishes. Um, I did like Illuminations in Epcot as well. But Wishes is better in my opinion I just enjoyed it more it's more magical it's cuter it's a bit cheesier and so I prefer it question number 11 is favorite pavilion in Epcot um I one thing I wish I had the chance to do was to just spend a bit more time in the different pavilions in Epcot and I think to do that you just need to it needs to not be your first time in Disney World because when it's your first time you just want to get everything done you want to go like to different rides and different restaurants and whatnot meet characters but if you if I was to go again I'd just spend like a day just relaxing and taking everything in all the pavilions um, because I feel like I didn't get to do that as much as I'd like to but my favorite pavilion would probably have to be Morocco because it's I have some of my favorite memories from Morocco from the one time that I've been to Disney World I just loved Morocco it looked cool um, we met Aladdin and Jasmine there, We I went to one of the restaurants there, a counter service restaurant there and I had some really good food twice. I just loved it, I loved the atmosphere in Morocco but I mean, I don't know, like Japan looks cool, China looks cool, I don't know. If I had to choose though at the moment I'd probably say Morocco. Next question is what colour is your magic band? My magic band is blue because blue is my favourite colour, I'm wearing a blue top right now, I just love blue. Question number 13. Favourite character to meet? Now I have to think a bit about this one, but I think without a doubt I'd have to say uh, Chippendale. They're just so fun to meet whenever I've met them anywhere, not even just in Disney World, if I've met them in Disneyland Paris as well. Every single time I've met Ch Chippendale, I've had the best time. They've just been such a laugh, they've just been so funny, and I've they've always like created some special memories for me every single time. So yeah, I think if I had to choose uh, my favourite characters to meet, it would have to be Chippendale. Although my favourite character ever in any Disney film is Woody, and I did have a great interaction with Woody in uh, Magic Kingdom one time on holiday uh, in Disney World so yeah Woody it depends though with Woody sometimes it can be really fun sometimes it can't it won't be as fun I guess which if in there you're guaranteed to have a great time but yeah Woody is great to me as well and also Peter Pan I've never met Peter Pan before I don't think until this holiday and I met him twice and the first time he was awesome the second time he was really cool as well but the first time he was just so insanely cool that I was like whoa I was lost for words it was just really really good really fun to me so yeah question number 14 a character you haven't met but really want to um I'm gonna say Esmeralda, but I, I think it's very difficult to meet her anyway, like I, I don't think you can meet her in fact anywhere at the moment. So Esmeralda from, from Hunchback of Notre Dame, she's one of my favourite characters, 
ever and the Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of my favorite Disney films of all time so I'd really like to meet Esmeralda uh, I remember I saw her in a parade because when uh, it's, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame first came out uh, I visited Disneyland Paris me and my family visited Disneyland Paris back in like 1996 7 or something and uh, they made a big deal of it because obviously Hunchback of Notre Dame is French and Disneyland Paris is in France so they had a massive they had a huge parade with like all the characters from the film Hunchback of Notre Dame and Esmeralda was in that parade so it was um, Quasimodo but I didn't get to meet her so I'd like to meet her but I'd also, also like to meet um, Hercules and Meg oh my god Hercules and Meg would be so cool to meet I think and I've seen videos of them from like the long lost friends or whatever in Disneyland California and they just seem so cool so yeah I'd like to meet one of those three and number 15 is your best Disney memory now to choose my favourite Disney memory of all time like including my trips to Disneyland Paris is so difficult I'm not going to even attempt that so I'm only going to choose one from my holiday in Disney World um, and I think that's what yeah, they want you to do anyway because it's a Disney World tag so um, I think my favourite memory <laughs> was yeah, when I met Woody and Jessie on my own in Magic Kingdom so um, we were there for two weeks and there was this one day where um, three of there was five of us, three of my friends went to SeaWorld one of my friends went to Universal and I just decided to stay in Magic Kingdom and have a day to myself um, and just kind of have take it easy I guess and I decided to go and meet Woody and Jessie that day and um, I was wearing, was I wearing, no I wasn't even wearing my, I wasn't even wearing my Woody hat, I was just wearing my normal Mickey ears but um, I had my phone case which I'm going to show it to you right now this is my phone case, uh, it's got Woody on it as you can see and I had it with me I had my phone with me obviously uh, when I was there and um, as soon as I went to Woody I showed this to him and I was like Woody you're my favourite person ever, you're my favourite cowboy in the world and he loved this like phone case and Jessie got so angry and so jealous and she was like oh my god and she like just literally grabbed my phone case and went to the crowd was, like queuing after me and like was like oh my god look at this and um, it was so funny because a cast member with them like had to be like come on Jessie come back it's fine and it, I was just laughing so much it was just so memorable and throughout this whole thing Woody was like you know on my side and like trying to get Jesse to give my phone back and I went to Jesse don't worry I like you too it's just like Woody's my favorite but you're my second favorite Jesse it's fine and Jesse was hilarious like just pretending to be annoyed and like doing this to me and not even wanting to even take a picture with me it was just so funny I, I don't think I've ever laughed so much doing a meeting with, with a character or two characters so um, I really liked that it's probably my favorite memory and it kind of made my day as well because I was on my own and they just literally made my day so much better and I, I loved it so much so yeah but of course there's so many other memories as well and I'm sure there'll be loads of more memories in the future not just in Disney World but in Disneyland Paris as well just I love Disney so there's so many great memories that involve Disney for me like just last week I went to see Inside Out for the second time and that's a great memory for me with my friend like it was her first, first time seeing it and she cried she's not as big of a Disney fan as I am but she loved it and that made me happy and um, I'm hopefully going to be going to Disneyland Paris again soon so there's just loads of great memories to come that involve Disney and that's why I love Disney because they bring me such joy and happy memories but yeah that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you do want to make this tag yourself film it and leave the link down below for me so I can go and watch it. I love tags like this. I love talking to other Disney fans from all over the world. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!